Thank you, Chair. Um, 2,100 suspicious activity reports and more than 2 trillion in transactions. These are stunning numbers. The leaks reveal suspicious transactions at Deutsche Bank. Russian criminals and money launderers working for terrorist groups allegedly laundered money through the Moscow branch. The name of Vladimir Putin cousin, Igor Putin, is also linked to such a transaction. Another leak reveals a transaction of 31 million between two offshore companies. The first one, with an account at Pireus Bank, is owned by a person involved in arms trafficking for the Islamic State. And the other, with an account in the uh, state-controlled Bulgarian Development Bank, is owned by a notorious Bulgarian arms dealer. All of this is happening under the eyes of the financial uh, intelligence units, of the European banking authorities, of the ECB, of the law enforcement uh, national authorities. Can I ask, how is it possible that we, uh, that we see money transferred, such impressive amounts of money transferred to uh, safe places through the banking system? Basically, there is zero time to waste. And if we want to efficiently fight money laundering, we need uh, full judicial cooperation in criminal matters. We need an AML regulation that we have been talking about for a long time. Uh, we need full transparency on beneficial ownership that we have been talking about for a long time. Uh, cooperation with national authorities as well, but a truly functioning super supervisor supervisory body. This is if we really want to fight money laundering. If not, we it will never happen. Thank you.